Yo, 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 it's your boy Marcel Guabo, man. We in Inglewood, man. I don't think it's that dangerous, but we gonna talk to the real people, man. Get the real story. Shout out my nigga real, man. Let's go, street certified. What's your favorite part about Inglewood? The smoking. A couple of weeks ago, some girl was gonna get shot. Dude had his baby and had a gun out. She was saying something like, I ain't there. I ain't there. I'm like, damn. Channel, man. I'm doing a documentary on Inglewood. So we want to actually talk to the real people, man. So we got to highlight y'all, man. Check. You, you the what? Yo. What's good, man? Hey, what's you, your name, bro? Oh, you ready? I mean, you, I can, family? I'm doing a documentary on Inglewood, bro. Right. And real showing like the real streets of Inglewood. So I'm interviewing all types of people, including y'all. Y'all be here. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. Is that? There's only a few questions. JB. Yep. All right. How long you been a resident of Inglewood? Uh, I've been here for all my life. All your life? Yeah, yeah. So, first off, what's your favorite part about Inglewood? Oh, uh, shit. I just love the city. Yeah. Tell me, what's one of your favorite things about Inglewood? It's the, it's the family. I, I don't live here, but I've been working over in this area for about over 20 years. So I have known, learned to learn, know a lot of people, actually. A lot of people know me. So, I mean. So the people. It's the people. What's your name, brother? Mike. Mike, man. Mike, man. How's it going, bro? It's all right. It's all good. Man. What's your favorite part about Inglewood? The smoking. A couple of weeks ago, some girl was gonna get shot. Dude had his baby and had a gun out. She was saying something like, I ain't there. I ain't there. I'm like, damn. Damn, that's crazy as hell, man. Yeah, hey, so, for the kids and for the people. so tell me, what's your, what's like the worst thing about Inglewood that you feel? Of course, it's the killing, y'all. The senseless killing, the drive-bys, the shooting. Y'all know how it is. So do you feel safe though, like when you being? Cause I see you got your family now. Like, do you feel safe, or do you feel like the violence like could be coming for you too? You know what? We never know nowadays. But I can say this: um, I don't feel safe. I just watch my back. You know, I don't feel safe nowhere but in my home. So. Thing ain't terrible, but you know you gotta mind your business. Right. If you don't mind your business, you'll get into something. But as long as you mind your business, you mellow. You feel? Fast, fast. Hey, how the females out here, bro? What, man, you just seen one just walk past. <laughs> That's why I asked you. Look, I'm ready to hold on. Let me, let me. Yeah, we, maybe she want to do an interview or something, man. I'm real gonna holler at her. Real gonna holler at her. My girl the Kaji. I'm gonna make sure I'm real gonna holler at her. Right, you know that's gonna be a damn issue. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be like interview over, niggas. In 1930, almost 90,000 people called Inglewood home. Its shopping district, located at the corner of 63rd and Halsted, was second only to the State Street shopping districts in downtown Chicago. And by World War II, Inglewood, which was first populated by German, Swedish, and Irish residents, it was thriving. In the decades since, Inglewood has struggled. White flight, crime, poverty, and the lack of government resources have effectively hurt the area. In 1980, Inglewood's population had declined from a height of 90,000 down to only 60,000. And by 2010, it had declined all the way down to 31,000 residents. In an effort to clean up the vacant lots, the city of Chicago devised a plan where they would sell lots to Inglewood residents for only one dollar. The years of Inglewood struggles, however, it just showed a part of the picture. Some in the public consider Inglewood one of Chicago's most dangerous neighborhoods, but it's another side to the story. It's your boy Emrechel Guapo, man. 76 and Houston, man. We at the Falcon Fuel, man. Shout out Omar, man. Man, follow us at Street Certified News. You know what I'm saying? Throw us to subscribe and shit, man. We really out here, man. A lot of these dudes, what they call them, bloggers? Yeah. A lot of these bloggers is not out here, G. I'm out here. What's your least favorite part about Inglewood, bro? I ain't got no least favorite part. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I love the whole city. It ain't no least favorite part, you know? 
As long as, like I said, as long as you mind your business, you good. You know, then all of us ain't fucked up. That's well, yeah, I do hair down at Don Vic Neal uh -huh. Barbershop. Come check us out, y'all. We got the coldest barbers. All right. So, you know, on my block right there, it's, real, it's a real long block, so, you know, I got to come to the gas station, and I just be hustling my little money, going yep. back to my crib, smoking. F facts. Hey, so, walking these streets, bro, you be feeling safe, like, coming back and forth through the blocks, man, because we right here in the heart of Inglewood. Yeah, I know, we right in the heart, but, I mean, ain't nobody going to mess with you in your own shit, you know? I agree, bro. What's your least favorite part of Inglewood? The guns, bro. So you don't like guns? Nah, bro. I mean, I don't got one, so I don't really fuck with them, you know? Right. So it's all right. You be seeing, like, a lot of gunplay out here? Be, like, a lot of shit, yeah, shootings and shit? Like a couple. JB, man, you can follow me. You already know. On IG, JB Don't Play. You can follow me on TikTok, JB Don't Cap. And you can follow me on Facebook, JB Play A Lot. We literally at the gas pump. She pumping gas. Pumping gas, y'all. <laughs> hey, I just want to give a shout-out to my shop. Don Vic Neal, come check us out. I'm Lenthia. I'm the hairstylist there. He the main, the main barber, him and Fred. Y'all know us. Holler at us. Get at us. Yeah, the police, you know, they try to make it seem like they doing their job, but if they step up more, it'll be much safer. But, you know, they seem, you know, they make it seem like we can't protect ourselves, you feel me? So it's a wrong for us to walk around with a gun, but you can't get there in town to protect me, so why I can't protect myself? Then we got to go by law to carry something. Damn. I just feel like that's wrong, you feel me? Damn. It's high. Hey, it's man's law and it's God's law. You feel me? For sure. I want to shout out to my guys back on 48th Street. You know you know how I do. I didn't have to bang. I didn't have to shoot no triggers. People knew me. You know, I got shot. Nothing happened to my body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm all good, bro. I don't fuck with the guns. I don't game bang no more. Rudy, you know where I'm at, bro. 48 right there. I'm on 76 in Halstead right here, bro. Man, hey. It's the boy Mike, man. Emirates of Guapo, man. 76 in Halstead. Inglewood. Shout out that nigga real, man. Appreciate you for fucking with me, man. Yeah. Taking your time out, man. I appreciate you.